you, Pete. Uh, I have been very lucky to have great bosses uh, throughout my career, and the two of them, Pete and Renu, they're here. Thank you very much. They're still guiding, still pointing, still helping. So thank you again. We are today launching Ambient with a breakthrough analog AI technology, but not just analog. We are calling it digital analog AI technology. You can say, what is digital analog AI technology? Have you just taken part of digital and part of analog and put them together? Answer is no. We are doing analog computing, which gives you the performance, the efficiency of analog, but we are using digital transistors, digital components that give you scalability, 40 nanometer, 28 nanometer, all the way to seven, three, one, maybe nine strums. We will scale as digital does, We're still doing analog computing. We would also be commercializable immediately because we do not change anything in the PDK. So digital analog technology we are launching today. We are also launching the first processor that we built with it for uh, edge market. Uh, this is an AI processor using this digital analog technology. And for the future, we have lined up a great line of products and we would be, uh, we would be here for a very long time uh, to come serving this market for AI inference. Great team. We have been, some of the team members have been working for past 10 years uh, doing really amazing stuff, beautiful stuff. You know, when you combine digital and analog, the results can be beautiful. And this team has been doing so. I have been an engineer. I am still an engineer. And I've uh, been lucky to have more than 50 patents. Uh, half of them coming from this company. Ram uh, comes from some great companies, as you can see the names, Google, Microsoft, NVIDIA, LSI, all very relevant. But with this, we have software team, great software uh, lead person. We have analog team. We have system team that can present a complete solution to the industry. So excellent team, experienced team, team that has achieved over time not once, not twice, many, many times. AI. AI is different. Everybody has heard about it. Everybody knows it. But what is different? AI, computation, not 3%, not 6%, not 15%. 85 to 95% computation, mostly arithmetic. Very different than what the previous chips are, what the chips generally are. The second problem, second bottleneck, when you try to solve an AI problem, I have been trying to solve that for last nine years. When you go deep into it, you will see just the computation alone is not the problem. There are two other problems that one needs to solve. The storage and on-chip interconnect. On-chip interconnect, friends, something that nobody talks about. White elephant in the, in the room, you know, elephant in the room. Nobody talks about it. Every generation of technology inter interconnect has becoming slower and slower and slower. And anybody who talks about the next generation chip just ignores it. We have addressed them all. We are designing the digital analog AI compute that performs the arithmetic functions. We also designed our own SRAM, embedded SRAM technology that feeds the critical data that has to go into these compute engines. And most important of them all, when you can combine many cores together, we have designed an interconnect uh, technology, ground up, which is, works on low swing signaling. And I'll give you some numbers uh, later on. Digital analog matrix compute engine using digital transistors. No need for any special PDK or process design kit. We work with the digital, that means we can scale. But the most important part, we do analog, efficient, high performance, but 32-bit accuracy. We can perform 
as good as digital and outperform digital computing in pretty much everything, power, performance, and the cost. So performance of analog, advantages of digital, that's the digital analog, a true analog that can be commercialized, that can be used easily. Even our RTL designers do not know that they are actually instantiating an analog block. That's how simple, that's how seamless it is. So efficiency and performance without compromise, no compromise. We will give you AI technology, we will give you AI products as they should be designed. High performance, efficient, but software people don't have to worry about what is working inside for them. It is just same digital bits, same bytes, same big bytes or same 32 bits, 64 bits flowing through. Very important, one of the breakthrough. When we started on analog, this was most of the important, most, most important part that we do analog because it can get you the efficiency, but not retard it, not limit it by using a special component that can either not be manufactured or cannot scale or can give you a lot of accuracy issues. So we can do 4 bit, 16, uh, 4 bit, 8 bit, 16 bit, and 32 bit computing. Today we'll be expanding it further as the need, uh, uh, need increases. Ultra low power embedded storage SRAM, very important because this is where the data comes from, this is where the data resides when you're computing. We have done something and you can come and see us uh, it on our booth, 300% to 500% more efficient. The one they will show you in the booth is actually 600% better than what is available in the market. Because if you want to do a true, true AI computing, you need to feed it a lot of data. And without that, you cannot custom build from scratch by designers who have been working together for a very long time. We created very high performance memory in past, now very efficient SRAM. And the third, very important that most people don't want to talk about because they can't solve it. We have solved by low swing signaling. We have made wires that are 500% more efficient than Actually, there's far more than 500% that you can see it on our booth. But what it does is it enables massive parallel uh, processing. You can connect a lot of cores without worrying about that the wires or the speed between uh, the cores can become a problem. Not in our case. So we are giving you an AI computing with a complete package without compromise. Market we are going to address, actually the entire uh, inference market, but we are starting with the modest edge AI, which everybody seems to now get on the tune that is going to become extremely big, it's very big. We will be addressing pretty much the entire uh, AI inference market, but uh, starting from on device AI, very, uh, very small, very tiny, can do a lot of good stuff. And we'll show you a little bit about that product as well. So from IoT, vision, to edge IoT and 5G computing. From very, very tiny device to large computer, the technology itself is capable of addressing all of these markets. And we would get them as we grow bigger. Opportunity is just enormous. And we are there to pretty much like there's nothing, there's no hurdle remaining anymore, no process technology, no software. We have got a great software team, which is already, uh, will show you a BS, uh, the, the board support package for the first product, already working in, in a prototype system. Some benchmarks for on-device AI. We are giving you an 80 microwatt complete solution, wake up word not just wake up bird, but anomaly detection, any type of anomaly detection, whether in healthcare, industrial, in uh, your apparel, in, um, in small gadgets, battery powered, wall powered, what, 80 microwatt. So the AI can be a true master everywhere it goes. So far, you will see next uh, in a few slides, so far, people when they design AI, intelligence, intelligence becomes slave of something else, not in our case. Intelligence will be the master in our case. So <coughs> some numbers here, 200x better than most of the industry, 2x to 3x better than 
some recent advance, some great advancements has been made in the uh, recent past. But we are going to top it up, raise the bar, and obviously we'll be respecting our competitors. We'll be very glad to compete with them. When we go to Edge Cloud, I'm sorry, we have changed the numbers a little bit differently, but most of the people, industry leaders today, are doing around uh, 0.2 to 2.5 mac per picojoules uh, to get to 2.5 they get to um, a 7 nanometer we can do today 1 to 2 uh, mac per picojoule i'm giving you the mac number not ops number because you know ops are mostly fuzzed up numbers doing a lot of operation doesn't mean anything unless you produce the results so we're talking about the results not operations and the number of Mac engines you can pack if you were to do build this chip, our chip, using our technology, uh, a chip, instead of 130, 1,000 Mac engines, you can, you can pack 2 million of them. You can imagine today how much performance you can get. Of course, you can cross PETA Mac computing today using our technology. Of course, you can't really feed these many engines because the external components become the bottleneck. But as the external components, especially DRAM technology, in, improves, we will be waiting. We will be waiting there to exploit, to harvest it all. So <coughs> some of the numbers, as I said. Now, I do want to talk about this chip, somehow animation. Anyway, <coughs> when we started our, tech, our journey building a small device for the edge, we want to build an AI chip that has intelligence. But AI chip that can run on its own. So we target, let's say, 50 microamp, 100 microamp AI chip that can do monitoring, that can be continuously on, always on. When we go out and see the solutions available, well, you need to compete uh, to connect the clocking device. And guess how much that clocking device uh, costs? 1,500 microamps. Any the, the smallest power PLL will cost you that kind of number. Similarly, when you interface with the sensors, the analog to digital converter costs at least 1,000 micro, microwatt. Well, if I want to design an 80 or 100 microwatt solution, how am I going to do in this mode? Not only that, my AI is the intelligence. And guess who it gets governed by? Some other master. 100 years, or well, not 100 years, at least two, three years old technology, which we call processors nowadays, anyway. So we could not accept this as a solution, because this is not a solution. This is just a technology, and we point here and say, OK, all done. Look, imagine about like an iPod, an iPhone. If I just create a phone, but not the, not the stylus, which is the finger, not create the ecosystem around it, then it's not a solution. We went out, when we looked for uh, so-called IPs, there were not av none available, so we designed our own. We packed everything together, and guess how much our ADC burns power? Not 1,000, not 500, not 200, 5 microwatt, guys, only 5 microwatt. Similarly, our clocking, already built into the, the device, burns less than three microwatt of power. Actually, the one you will see in the demo, our equipment, poor equipment cannot even measure. It burns such a small power. Combining this whole thing together, we will provide you 80 microwatt complete solution, which is always on. But guess what it does? Now, all of these are feeding the AI engine, and AI engine is continuously working, always on, to power up 10 years of battery life. But that becomes the master. It wakes up the processor or anything else only when it detects something important. A wake up word, an anomaly in heart rate, or any uh, industrial anomaly in sound or in activities. So we are giving you a complete solution, no compromise. We are working with many customers uh, uh, today, many interested customers. A lot of them engaged already. Uh, smart speaker OEM, the largest ones. Uh, apparel maker, a luxury watch maker, robotics, uh, home appliances, automotive, and oil and gas for the edge server <coughs> market. The immediate market we are going to address is this, and then we will, we will be moving on to the other markets. 
we have a great team with all the required expertise to be able to address the challenges. This is how our chips looked like. The first one we did was in March. That is a test chip that proved all the technology. We took baby steps. No hurry, no need to go and excite everybody else. We took our baby steps, first one done in March, which proved all of the ingredients, IP, inside the components. And then this is a product chip. Um, approximately half of this is 10 AI blocks that can give you Petamax if you need it. Sorry, not Petamax, Teramax if you need it. But of course, for this product, which is the edge always on product, we will be running it much slower has a complete processor and everything else needed to make it a master and also a complete application processor if you need it. And my team has given me the actual chip. I don't know, can you notice this? It's a see teeny tiny chip right there. Can do a lot of, can be a true intelligence. Intelligence as it should be, tiny and still big. All right, this we are putting it into a system, a development board, and somebody again packed it back. Uh, this board, which you can see on our boot. This we have put a cob uh, uh, right now, it's inside here. You should be able to see it. So we have this product, will be going out, and we expect to be shipping it uh, pretty soon, in a few months. We'll be able to show you a lot of this stuff, and uh, so, first, digital analog, not the mixture of digital and analog, with the, with the performance and efficiency and low power of analog, with all the advantages of digital, flexible, versatile, scalable, scalable also in the next node, next generations, technologies, with the accuracy that the digital computers produce. So come, uh, we are showing most of the, I mean, some of these IPs, most of these IPs, I think, on the booth. And then uh, our innovation in 40 nanometer. We have already started working on the very ultra modern uh, node. And uh, we, uh, we will have those IPs ready, getting ready to port it to the next generation to showcase that this, uh, this actually scales, the whole technology scales. So stop by our booth, a lot of cool demo, good team. A lot of good expertise. As said, we the software will already be running. We'll have a full uh, deck. And uh, contact us. Thank you very much for your time. <laughs>